Good morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, June 12th. Record heat continues today along and south of the I-80 corridor with an isolated thunderstorm. We've been baking quite a bit and that heat will be there tomorrow, but it will combine with increasing southwest winds there across our far southern areas of far southeast Nevada and into parts of southwest Utah. Marginal winds, uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds in the afternoon, low humidity. There'll be some clouds around, some isolated uh, showers or an isolated thunderstorm as well. Um, and then that shower thunderstorm activity becomes a little bit more widespread in eastern areas on Friday. But to the west, we are looking for increasing winds uh, as a cold front approaches from the north. 24-hour uh, precipitation here on left, just some spotty amounts, just some isolated lightning strikes um, here and there. New fire starts uh, in the red, recent fires in the yellow activity definitely is picking up. Uh, existing burn projects here up in the north are becoming fewer and far between. It has been dry in most areas over the past seven days, except for some locally heavier downpours here in northeastern Nevada and parts of southern Idaho. But um, by and large, the southern half, southern third, pretty dry, not just for the past seven days, but also for the past 14 days. And that's why things have dried out quite a bit. You can see on the ERC point map, a lot of these stations are into the 80th and 90th percentiles already, and that's creeping further northward each day. Looking at the 100-hour fuels, this dark gold indicates where uh, we are already in the uh, mid to upper single digits on the 100-hour fuels. And even a little red popped up here today. That is at, f at or below 5%. So that's something we'll have to watch. Now on the weather map this afternoon, deep low pressure area, but very limited moisture. Kind of a dry air mass, except it's pulling up some subtropical moisture through here. Uh, but overall dry, still under a broad ridge of high pressure. Our most critically dry areas are in the far south. We are transitioning as we go from south to north. Uh, high risk for um, heat and dryness to the south of us. You can see why with that single digit humidity, which is also creeping up into our areas as well, very rapidly driving, drying our fuels, which are in a state of flux. Uh, we've got some moderate winds here, 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts in the afternoon. Stronger winds up north, but that'll come with higher humidity. Now, the low pressure area moves a bit further inland, starts drawing up more moisture. There'll be some showers and thunderstorms popping up over southern areas, moving into eastern areas of Utah late Thursday night into Friday. Uh, but we are concerned about some winds increasing um, as well. You see the humidity still single digits to near 10%. Uh, so I'll have to watch this wind situation, some of the cured grasses. As we go into Friday, you can see the showers and thunderstorms across far eastern areas of the Great Basin. This area in the black is somewhat higher air mass humidity. Um, and we can look at the map through here, our seven day stays the same. Wind's not as strong across Utah or southern Nevada tomorrow, but you can see the wind starting to pick up uh, in western Nevada ahead of that next front, as well as up in parts of Idaho. Humidity up there 15 to 20 percent, but more in the 10 to 15 percent here. So I'll have to watch some of the grasses out in that area. Three day precipitation, some uh, light amounts in southern and eastern areas. So we go into Saturday, you can see that front starting to approach through here. Uh, dry air mass to the south, be some increasing winds. And then we'll have to watch as this next trough of pressure comes in. It'll come with much cooler temperatures, but also in the southern periphery, it will come with increasing winds. The humidity may tick up just a little bit by a few percent, but the winds are going to increase uh, significantly, especially as we get into Monday and uh, so before they start slackening off again on Tuesday. 7-day precip totals and the 8 to 14-day outlook continues to show a trend towards warmer than normal temperatures, especially uh, across most areas, I should say, kind of near normal with some coolness as you get up into Idaho, where there could be some a lot more wetness, otherwise near normal precipitation for mid to late June, which means not much at all. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.